Cool. What's up, guys? This is the By Steve podcast, and this is episode number 25. Scotty and Steve do Olympic events. Oh, yeah. We are going to throw out, with the Olympics just around the corner, some events, and we're going to discuss who we think would win out of the two of us. And then we're going to debate it because we both think we're going to win all of them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, and as so, always, got the Iron Brew on the go. And since it is the Olympics, get big Kieran Achara's Olympic jersey up there behind me in, nice. honor, in honor of the Olympics. I've got a black coffee and a painted door from a semi-famous artist from Birmingham. So similar. It's each, each to their own. Each to exactly. their own. Exactly. Uh, how's your week been so far, big man? It has been chaotic. It has been rammed, full of work. Um, new clients, new online clients, new online clients. Uh, I've battered out lots of YouTube content for myself. I and noticed, obviously, yeah. and also got some stuff for us on the SES playbook. Nice. And then last night, I had I decided to just be like, "Fuck it." Finished work after doing 10 PT sessions and headed down to a wee spot in Scotland that I've never been before where there's like a abandoned castle and flew my drone because nice. I'm, I'm a bit of a geek that way as well. Nice. Uh, I saw that you was out and about. And when I voice noted you and you didn't respond, I saw that you was in the country. So I was like, oh, he's having his, uh, his alone time, which is good, man, much needed. And the castle looked good. Were there any ghosts? Well, I never got to go inside the castle because it was cl closed at seven. Uh -huh. It was, uh, I got to fly about the castle and I got to put my feet in the water. And I had lots of people oohing and ahhing at my drone. Really? No. Yeah, well, because you don't know this, there's a bit in Scotland and it's Ayrshire, okay? And if you're from Ayrshire, you've usually got like 12 toes and you go out with your sister and your cousin and stuff like that. It's quite, it's quite a common theme that Ayrshire people aren't they quite all there. And I'm probably going to have some. Uh, if somebody from Ayrshire is listening to this, they'll be like, oh, but that's what it is. So I don't think many people from Ayrshire had seen uh, such technical drone flying. So they were in okay. lots of oohs and ahs. Is that where Stu's from? No, it's where Lee's from. Hence why it's crap. Hence why it's crap, Chew Game. So that, uh, that, that, gives you a, that gives you an understanding of people from Ayrshire. That makes sense. And no, Marty... me, me and Big oh. Stu are from the same place. We were both born in Paisley. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But then fair he enough. moved to the country because he's a big hillbilly. Ah, okay. Fair enough. I just thought with the toe scenario. <laughs> um, uh, I had a really similar situation. My my castle wasn't shut. I didn't go to the castle, but I went to the framing shop to get my GB jerseys framed. And there was a wonderful sign in the window saying, closed Wednesday and Thursday, back open on Friday. And yesterday was Tuesday. I saw that. I mean, I mean that, that's just... Birmingham people for you, isn't it? Well, I mean, from a business point of view, it's not great, right? And I was just like, <laughs> I mean, luckily it's only like a three minute walk, but still, I was just like, at least write the sign right if you're not going to be open. But yeah, well, and that was at four o'clock, and the shop was meant to shut at five, so it wasn't even like <laughs> <laughs> they obviously yeah. had something something better to do that day than to frame your jersey. Yeah, they were probably in the jeweler's arms next door, like getting shit faced. So. You know, we are where we are. Um, anyway, let's get Olympic Events 101. So let's go with, let's start with five events. Pick one and then put forward your argument. That I, why, would, that I would win. Why you would win other than like just being you. There's got to be some legitimate argument to why well, you think you would win. All right, so I've, I've got five events I think I would 100% win. Yeah, 100% like without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. okay, so go with the first one. Hundred then... meters, hundred meter sprint. Oh, I don't even think it would be close, considering I used to be a sprinter. Considering I've got a huge, big, fat ass that just generates power. Okay, see, I don't think it'd be as brutal as you think. I don't think you would destroy me, but. Um, See, the only advantage you've got is about the 60 meter mark, you could dip forward and be across the line with your big long arms. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? It's an interesting call, you know, because I think you're faster than me, like in the obviously, you've got a faster first step than I have. 
I just don't know whether you've got the longevity, like over a hundred meters to be. Oh, hundred, hundred, anything more than a hundred, then I'm I'm cooked. But a hundred meters, you're you're getting smoked. You're getting smoked, I'm not getting. You're getting smoked. I used okay. to be before I played basketball. I I was a sprinter. Okay. So I'm telling you, a hundred meters, I would smoke you. Okay. So next you're, time, you, your 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 little bum. Does it, your gluteus maximus doesn't have enough power to keep up with the horsepower that I've got. Okay, interesting. I'm going to allow you that, and then maybe we can test that one day. All right, I'll, I'm, I'm up for a wee racy guy. Yeah, there's a track not far from here, so next time you venture down, like we could potentially go up there and do some content and see whether you can actually beat me over 100. Who, uh, oh, if you want to see that race, comment below, and we will actually yeah. film a 100 meters race. But until, okay. then, until then, I've got the gold medal. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll allow you that because it's your your event choice, so that's fine. Okay, right, second. Now one. you pick, you pick that you pick your one of five first, and give me your case. Um, see, I think I could beat you over any front crawl swimming distance, um, because I used to swim. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna push back in this one as well because I also used to swim. Okay, <laughs> um, and. What what distance are we going? I mean, I could, I definitely beat you over a sprint distance, like fifty meters, hundred meters for sure. And having done multiple triathlons, I think I could definitely beat you over a mile. Oh, I'll get, I'll give you over distance. I think, I think a shorter distance, it would be very, very close. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I was a very good swimmer. So was I. Very good swimmer. Okay, so. Fair enough. I'm not. Okay. I'm not willing to accept defeat on that one. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, just not, just on front crawl. Well, my event was the medley when I swam, so I done a length of each stroke. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty confident within my front crawl status. Okay. It has, it has been said I've got a very lovely breaststroke as well. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm not. Um, I, I'm going to put up a fight on that one. Okay. Okay. But well, again, I think we should maybe have a. A contest on the swim. Yeah, I mean that could be easily done as well. Like you could go to a pool in oh, Scotland and just record yeah. it, and vice versa. But uh, I, so I had a like, very, very good like 100, 200, 400 front. Uh, uh, that would that would be an interesting one. I'm not I'm not admitting defeat in that when we can have a a joint gold medal. I mean, I feel like you're never going to admit defeat. No, anyway. no, 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 in my head, there's events that I know that I'm just going to hand down, hands down, be like, "Yep, you got that." Okay, cool. Back at you then. So my next event is going to be. Let me see. Get a, get a good one here. Get a good one. Gymnastics. For sure. Because I can do like front flips and back flips and handstands and shit like that. I can do handstands. I've and, never seen a back flip. So. And you're too big to do gymnastics. Oh, for sure. So. Like, I. Yeah, no, I'm not even going to argue that one. Like, I think with some practice, I might be able to beat you on the rings. Mm. Like, I can do muscle ups and stuff like that. So, like, but you've just get your levers are just too big and long. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's for sure, for sure. But where they would come in handy is for fencing. Oh, I think I could do you at fencing. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get close to you. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you fair. I'll not even argue the case on fencing. But okay. is fencing even an Olympic sport? Let's be honest. I mean, is it, is it, I mean not anymore. It, I mean, is it even a sport? I mean, there's a lot of things that aren't sports. That are really <laughs> yeah, I'll give um, you that. So what's that then? So I've got the gold medal in sprinting, a joint gold medal in swimming, okay. gold medal in gymnastics. And so it's 3-2 right now. Okay, cool. All right, next one. So again, because I used to do this in my my youth, I'm going to go skateboarding. Uh, so my one question straight away for you is: Can you do a kick flip? No. Well, I've won straight away then. <laughs> you, you need to be able to do a kick flip to be able to do any tricks and do okay. anything. <laughs> I've I've skated down some hills and fallen off, so yeah, no, that's um, yeah, that's a no from me. Yes, come uh, on. 
Okay, so let's get a little bit more uh, technical then. I think I could beat you at the pentathlon. What's the pentathlon? What's that? What's that? That's like the men's version of like you run, you high jump, you pole vault, you javelin, you shot put. Like it's basically a multi event. Oh, so it's hundreds of events. Yeah, yeah, it's lots of events within an event. So it's like there's like um a mile run in there, there's like a four hundred meters in there, there's like a javelin, there's like um shot put, high jump, like steeple chase. I think there's some events in that you would win that, but I think there's also some that I would be very suited to. Well, it's basically scored like you you accumulate points over the events. Um, so while, while you might beat me at the 100 meter hurdles, like to 110 meter hurdles, like I think I would beat you collectively at enough of the events. So what are yeah. all the events? I don't know, but I know that I could beat you at the majority of them. High jump? Yeah, for sure. I've seen you jump. Yeah, but like I can, <laughs> I can actually high jump. I've actually seen you jump. High jump, long jump. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm yeah. taking high jump and I'm taking long jump off of no, you. No. 100%. No. 100%. No. Yeah. Definitely not long jump. No yeah. way. No. Because you've got to be athletic to do long jump. But well, that's definitely not you. <laughs> I've seen uh, you jump. You don't go off the ground, so there's no way you can long jump. Yeah, I can. Uh, sure. It's all technical. Uh, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. But again, I would, I would quite like to have a a long jump off with you. A long jump off. A long jump off. Okay. Okay. Next one, your side. Ooh, next one, my side. Do, 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 do. Where are we going? I'm trying to think of things that you wouldn't be good at because you're so long and tall. Hmm. I'm going to go with this one because I know I can do it and I have no idea if you can. Okay. Surfing. Yeah, I can't do that. I've never tried. Yeah. I've never on a surfboard. Never so, been on a surfboard. Bear in mind, I'm not that good at surfing, but I know I can at least stand up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. So, um, I think that might edge it if you're just constantly on your front. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do that. Um, okay, so where are we at events-wise? Uh... Pentathlon, uh, fencing, joint swimming. Uh, what have you got? Skateboarding, surfing, surfing, hundred meters, hundred meters, joint swimming. So we at four three. Like uh, so I've got running, swimming, skateboarding, and surfing. Yeah, four three to me. Four three. Okay. And, and you've got what two events to pick, and I've got one event to pick. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, this is when it's getting good. Okay, so controversial because your gymnastic skill will help you with this, but break dancing. Oh. I know I can dance better than you. Yeah, but, but break dancing is different from dancing. I know it is. I know it is. I would need to see you do a spin a rooney. Uh, <laughs> or as Big uh, Stu would say, I need to see you do a loop it. A loop <laughs> uh, I think I could take you at break dancing just because I can dance better than most people. Can you lock and pop? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Go, go, go. <laughs> <Not to know. laughs> um, but yeah, I used to go to break dancing things. And oh, I was never, well, there you go. They say that. But I was never great. What but... was your what was your break dancing name? Did you have a name? No, 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 no. Unfortunately, not. No. All right, I'll give you that. So what's that? Four each? Fours. Whoa. I'm just going to say it. Basketball. <laughs> Which version? Three on three. So you get to pick two teammates. No, just in general, basketball. I'll take I'll take my Scotland team over your England team. Ooh, I mean, the data tells us that... Um... Scotland win. <laughs> Although I wasn't part of that team, nor were you, but... Controversially, Scotland did give England the uh, the dick in the uh, Five Nations, didn't they? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say in one-on-one you'd beat me for sure. Yeah, well, we'll I, say that then, so I'll take the gold. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't think that's like a, an argument because my goal is not to score and go past people. It's to make you better. So, um, so you would make me better in one on one by letting me score. Yeah, exactly. I'd set a screen on myself <laughs> and, I'd, and let you get open. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Five, four. Oh, it needs to be a good one. It um, needs to be something that's going to seal the deal, that's going to get you that joint podium finish. Has to be a clear winner. There can be no argument on it. Okay. So I think I would hands down beat you at the ridiculous walking event. Speed walking? Yeah. I don't know if that's in it this year. Is it not? No. Let me just see. Surely it comes under track and field. Uh, it's not in the list this year. It's not in the list. Okay. Um, I mean, it might it might be in the track and field, and maybe I just don't see it, but I've went to walking or speed walking, and it's not there. Okay, bear with me then. Let's just quickly, you keep talking, talk some waffle. Pop some waffle. Yeah, so see after I beat Steve at the 100 metres and at the swimming, that'll be just amazing. And uh, we'll have a wee forfeit that he'll have to wear, like, speedos to the gym. <laughs> uh, uh, walk, race, walk in. Uh, da, 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 da. The marathon walk. Uh, yeah, it's going to... Uh, it will be the first Olympic Games in history that has the identical number of disciplines for men and women. The marathon race walk is in there. And there's also a mixed relay as well. Um, All right, so I, I need a, I need, I need to, I need to understand why you would beat me at walking. Because it's twenty kilometers, so it's a twenty kilometer walk. Okay. Where obviously, like, you need the magical skill of power walking, like the Olympians. So, like, your heel always has to a heel always has to be on the floor. And I just think my long term, like, my distance conditioning is so much better than yours. Or, or what you're saying is you know how to mince, mince walk yeah. better than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, like if that's how you want to walk. Like, uh, you know how to squeeze uh, your cheeks okay. and walk from the knees down. <laughs> yeah, for twenty kilometers. I'm I think even, I'm, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna argue that you can mince walk better than me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like we'll get cancelled now for like saying that it's mince walking, but that's fine. Nah, that that's the beauty of this. We don't, we don't, we don't. And buy into cancel cancel culture. <laughs> if you don't like it, don't watch. If you yeah. think it's funny, have a laugh. Yeah. That's all it um, is, people. It's a joke. Yeah, but I think I can beat you at that. All right, I'll give you that. So that's five, five. Okay, so we need a deciding event then that neither of us have ever done that we feel is open to discussion. Ooh. Archery. I've done archery, so I can't. Uh, it's, it's out. Okay. What about... Ooh, the riding of horses. I can't see it. It's equestrian. It's 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like that would be the survival of the fittest. So, yeah. Um, I have ridden a horse like twice in my life. I feel you've got the advantage in that event, though. The advantage being? Well, I've got two testicles, so I've got double the amount of pain to deal with, but you've only got one. Wow. So you can, you can gallop more and be, like, in less pain. Are we doing the, uh, the jumping over fences one or the dressage one, which is the dancing horses? Oh, if it's a dancing horse, if you get a horse that's, like, if you get a a horse version of Steve, then you'll win that because you'll be like break dancing under your horse and like <laughs> <laughs> um I feel like trying to teach a de dressage is easier than trying to jump over stuff. Cause I feel like if you can sit on the horse, all you've got to do is like pull the reins to make it dance. You know those like people right now going to be listening to this being like it's not that easy and they're gonna come at you in the comments big yeah, time like, for being yeah, like it's not that you don't just pull the reins and it does the cha-cha slide. <laughs> but I feel like that there's more chance of that than 
me getting on a horse and making it jump over a fence and staying on it. All right, well, let's let's do this one, and we'll put it on we'll put it on Instagram, and we'll put it on YouTube as well. Okay, so we'll leave okay. it at five five. We'll put yep. the I can't see it. Who do you see it? Equestrian. Equestrian, and we'll put a poll up. Who do you think would be the better horse rider, me or Big Steve? And we'll let the public we'll let the public decide who has the skills at riding a horse more than the other person. Interesting. I'm trying to think if I know anyone that has a horse. That might have a couple. Uh, I think I know a few people up here that have got a horse. I got a few ex girlfriends that had horses, but I don't think I can call them anymore. Nah, it's probably not a good idea, big guy. To be honest with you. No, nah, no, nah, maybe. All not. right, so here's here's one for you then. Okay. Right. If you could pick any past person that's won a gold medal, okay. Yeah. At any event. Oh, I know what I'd have beat you at, but anyway, go on. At, at any event, okay? Yeah. Do you think if you had the same amount of training, you could beat them? So if I'd started rowing at the same age as Steve Redgrave. I oh, used, had... used to have picked rowing. You'd have humped me at rowing with those big long. I know. That's what I just, that's what I just went round. I was like, should have rowing. And, um, you, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you can put on a posh English accent as well, which would like fit you right in. Yeah, and wear a polo shirt. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 side parting. I mean, it's there. Um, it's, it's there right now. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, I think with the right training, I could have been a very, very good rower. I just was lower class, not middle class or upper class. So, um, I feel like I could give a gold medalist rower a run for their money if I'd had the same level of training. Yeah. So so this is a true story. When I was at the Commonwealth Games, there's a Scottish sprinter called Alan Wells who won the gold medal donkeys ago, but he's now like one of these ambassador people that go to the games and like yeah. mingles with her. I literally walked up to him and said, bear in mind this is when I was 25 and cocky as fuck. I walked yeah. up to him and said, give me two years lottery funding and I'll beat every single person you've got in the Scottish track team right now. And he just looked at me like, are you serious? And I was like, 100% serious. Give me two years lottery funding and I will smoke MD you've got in the 100 metres. How did that work out for you? I never got lottery funding, but he was a, he remembered who I was and he spoke to me a good few more times at the tournament. Decent, decent. So, well, made a connection, right. made a connection. That's all it's about. Nice, nice. Well, I think that was the, the goal of the midweek podcast. Uh, I think um, we will find some more interesting topics for next week. And uh, obviously with the Olympics being on, we'll see if we can get another uh, interesting Olympic fact. All right, so before we go, here we go. America, are they winning the gold in the basketball? No. Oh, who are you picking then? I don't have an answer for that, but I feel like them going 5-0 and oh in the warm-up games is false data because I don't really feel like the rest of the teams were like really trying to beat them. Like Controversial. Well, I think when you look at like the rotations of the subs and stuff, like I think some of the other teams that they were playing against, other than South Sudan, and that was stupidly close. Like I just think like some of the other European teams are just protecting players and just getting rotational stuff in, whereas I think like America had to kind of like win them to uh, like, oh, 100% they had to win, but you also got to remember KD's not played yet. Yeah, but he's not. You've still got KD to come into the mix, which is just ridiculous. And the GOAT, LeBron James, has just showed why he's still the GOAT at 39. He had just dominated. I agree. I agree, it's, but it, I is, think... it is amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm all in on them winning. I'll let you, yeah. for, for next week, I'll let you decide who you're picking. I just think once we get into the thick of it, like, there'll be some issues with the rules. Like, because, like, already watching, like, some of the Americans, like, they're taking, like, 86 steps before they bounce the basketball, and they're just going to let that stuff go in the exhibitions, but I just don't think it will let, get slide in the actual Olympics. And I think once you start to think about, like, like France and Serbia and some of those teams that like to pass and share the ball once they get moving, I think they'll just be tough to beat. Well, 
I can see, I can see, I can see you playing for Serbia. You get that wee Serbian look about you right now with the the big comb over, the the wife beater, and the chain on, and the the tats on show. Exactly. You could be like Jokic, Jokic's wee brother. Exactly, and I've got like a little bottle of vodka down here, which I've been sipping on all day as well. Um, but no, I think it'll be interesting because I think like all roads lead to the gold medal for America on paper, but. We'll see. I just think some of those like other teams will be tough to beat. Like when you get into the deep of it, and like I know when you look at the groups like Japan are in there, I don't think that's going to be a problem for anyone. But I think there's some good teams in there that once they start to turn it up a little bit, it might be a bit yeah. tighter than you. Think. I will agree. I don't think it's going to be an easy, 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 easy path to the finals, but I can't see past them. I just think once everything gets fine on all cylinders, once KD comes back, plus and Biebs played crap, once he plays right. a little bit better, it's game time. Game time. Are you going to the? Are you going to any of the games? No, I was going to go to France, Japan, um, but it just got really messy because the tip off was at half five, and then my flight back was at like ten to ten, and I was like, it's just too stressful. Like I had Wednesdays are a really busy day for me for work, so it was just like, ugh. Um, so no. Cool, cool, big guy. I like it. I like it. Uh, and remember. For anybody that's listening, or for fact, for the millions upon millions that are listening, drop a comment, ask us some questions, hit that follow, subscribe button, and I'll hand you back over to Big Foster for the outro. And yeah, that'll do us for today. And we will be back next week with something. We're both away this weekend, so we'll be back middle of the week next week. So take it easy, and we will see and speak to you all soon. And remember, we like presents, so send us stuff. Yeah, free stuff, and we'll shout you out like Nike trainers and stuff. other things. Fancy. All right, see it. Uh, see it. Uh, well, see it. Say what? See you, big. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>